people out there in uh, TV land. Um, I hooked up a sewing machine motor which is extremely quiet. Um, not sure about on the low end about the torque. I might have to hook instead of going direct. I'd have to hook it back up. But um, here's the issue I'm having. First of all, you can hear you can hear the belt there. I don't know if it's just too tight or that's what these flexible link belts sound like. But there is a significant wobble. I wanted to keep the old belt, so I took the spindle out. And now there is a wobble, and I can't figure it out. Um, I'll turn this baby on. And here's how the sewing machine motor works. It's, uh, oh, got to plug it in. Okay, this usually has a foot pedal hooked up to it. Anyway, this thing's extremely quiet. It may not, it may sound louder than this on the video, I'm not sure. But, uh, let's slow it down a little bit so you can see the wobble. It's a significant wobble. The, the head, this is doing kind of like this got it tightened um, I have no idea if it's not tight enough but I might have to take this headstock off again for the third time but anyway like I said this thing is wobbling like this my 618 there's three set screws one here which will loosen then there's one right here and we'll loosen that one and then the third one is on this bull gear and it's the one is down deep uh, that other one up there is to lock down To lock down a pin in here so there's the three set screws here here and down in there and now we're going to stick some wood in here and knock this well first of all we're going to take this part off and then we're going to knock this thing out you yep and this keyway right here there's a keyway and we're going to take that out Woodruff key and then this comes off now since everything is loose in here well I mean the set screws we could knock that thing out but what we're going to do there's another Woodruff key in here so the Woodruff key is up near the pin so we'll bring that around to the top which is right here I want to see that pin come out and we stick a couple of shims of wood in here to keep the bull gear from knocking back. Got the shims in here, which is basically just um, a couple of paint stirrers I cut. And stick them in here between the bull gear and this housing here. And also put this um, threaded thing back on here so when you bang you don't gnarl up your threads. But get yourself something soft like a piece of wood and now you're going to just lightly tap it and start sending the sh basically you're knocking you're knocking the bull gear out of this part and you can see it's already loose here uh, and when there's a pin and we're going to knock this until the pin comes out that woodruff key and uh, then we can pull that woodruff out Okay, you can see that Woodruff key down in there, and once we pull that out, now we can knock the whole thing, the whole spindle, out. Alright, spindle's out. Well, sports fans. This is what the uh, spindle looks like. 
it got hot here because I didn't know what I was doing. I ran this thing a little hot and I may have screwed it up. You can see it right here with the bushing from the gear, you know, rubbed some of the metal off, left its uh, brass on there. And here, you can really see in here, it uh, it took back oh a good three sixteenth no that's almost a quarter of an inch worth of the bushing rubbed it off and um, it rubbed up against here too I didn't put any lubrication in there and that really got hot I hope I didn't screw up this spindle. That's like uh, it's too loud up there. Five or six. That's about six thousandths off. And that's just that's just here in the with nothing on it. The spindle's in there. I could be chipped down in there, but I've done this reading again somewhere else, and it just. It's just off. Something's wrong. Well, putting the dial indicator on here, on the shoulder of that, it's really only about a half a thousandth on that. So maybe the spindle may be not messed up. Maybe it's something here. I'm going to put a chuck on there and give it a shot. Guys, I don't get it. Uh, when I run the uh, dial indicator right here, I know you can't see the dial of it, but it's on the flat part right there. It's within a half a thousand. And when I run it this way, it's the same way. I don't know if the threads somehow got a little buggered up, but um, for some reason, I can't get a true, this is true, this is true, but when it gets a, a chuck on it or something or something down the shaft, it's not true anymore. So I don't have a clue what's going on. Now I put something in the chuck there, and there's like seven thousandths. I don't know what's going on with this thing. Any suggestions will be greatly appreciated. Thank you.